As per SEBI guidelines, KYC registration agencies must verify KYC details of the client such as customer's name, mobile number, email ID, address proof, PAN number, date of birth as part of the verification process. Please note that as per regulatory guidelines, your proof of address must be an official valid document such as Aadhaar, Passport, Voter ID or Driver's License. In case your KYC details are incomplete or incorrect as per KRA, you will be required to complete the re-KYC process. You will be prompted to update your KYC when you log in to your ICICI Direct app or website. Here's how you can complete your re-KYC process in just a few simple steps via the ICICI Direct website. Now, before you begin your re-KYC process, ensure that you have your Aadhaar card and have access to your Aadhaar linked mobile number to complete this process. Re-KYC process can be done in the following four simple steps. Fetch Aadhaar and PAN details from DigiLocker, confirm your personal details, capture live photo, and e-sign. As soon as you've logged into your ICICI Direct account, an update KYC pop-up will appear. Click on consent box and then click proceed. After this, you will be redirected to DigiLocker to fetch your Aadhaar and PAN card. Enter your Aadhaar number along with the capture code and then click on next. You will receive an OTP on the mobile number linked to your Aadhaar card. Enter it in the box and then click on continue. Next, enter your 6-digit DigiLocker PIN and click on continue. In case you've forgotten your PIN, you can easily reset this by using your date of birth. Furthermore, it is now mandatory that your name and date of birth in your ICICI Direct account should match with your PAN details. Next, your address will be fetched from Aadhaar card. Once you confirm your details, click on proceed. Next step is photo verification. Make sure you grant your location and camera access before you click the photo. Now click on proceed to take selfie. As per regulations, the customer needs to be present in India to complete the KYC. Additionally, you are requested to attempt the KYC procedure via your personal laptop or phone as some office laptops may restrict photo capturing. Please ensure that you remove all of the following objects before taking your picture. You will be redirected to the Update KYC pop-up. Click on the tick boxes to provide consent, then click on Accept and proceed to e-sign. This will take you to the Protean site for the e-sign. Click on the consent box, then enter your Aadhaar number in the box given and hit the Send OTP button. Enter the OTP in the box and click on Continue. Once this process is done, you will be redirected to the ICICI Direct website. Congratulations, your re-KYC process is now complete. But before we bid adieu to each other, here's a few points to remember post-KYC process. Number 1. Once re-KYC process is completed, KRA takes 2-3 to three days to validate your contact details and documents. The re-KYC pop-up will keep appearing every time you log in till your KYC application gets validated by KRA. Number 2. KRA will send you a validation link on SMS and email for validation of contact details. Please make sure you click on the link and validate your contact details. Number 3. And the most important point. If in between any stage you are unable to complete the re-KYC process due to technical issues, your re-KYC journey will start from where you halted it last time. However, you have 3 days to complete the process. And there you have it folks. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to the ICICI Direct YouTube channel. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all related documents carefully before investing.